called made there by Mr. Oleg Schoon, the official. Saying the film was committed by J. Emery, which is his fourth team foul, and um, Cotton goes to the free throw line and will attempt two free shots. Looking to pull his team, Petition Wells College, back into the game. And this is the third quarter. And the score. Petition Wells College clawing their way back into the game, slowly and surely. Curtin converting the first free throw. Missing the second one. A lane violation was called on. I want to play something on the secondary and a shot will be taken by Curtin. Shot will be taken over. Curtin takes his time. Misses rebound taken by Emma. A long left hand pass to Don Court. Pass for pass made. That's a two-point shot taken there by Claudia. Celebrating with his teammate. Presentation by his caller back on the attack. Taking the ball to the taking the ball to the players of Sanai Secondary. Three attempted by Taylor. Missed rebound taken back. Oh, another block shot by Emery. Saying no no to the player from Foundation Brothers College. As Motomo would say, not in my house. And Jake Emery racking up another block shot. Pass taken. Marlon has the ball in the high post position. Pass it to Stevenson. Attempts a shot. This is made to tap the ball back to number four. Beautiful work there by Stevenson. Not giving up on the shot and being able to get his hand onto the ball and so tap tapping it back to Taylor. A long pass made to number three. That's Jay Andrews for an under in secondary and they converted no two points. Taylor with a beautiful spin move baseline. This is the shot but the rebound was being taken by M. Joseph. And the ball almost stolen there. Cotton makes a cross goal pass. Stevenson with the ball, has the ball to Marlon. Beautiful head fake and attempted block shot there by Emma. He was unable to do so. And Sassman has the ball and another foul break attempt. Stolen there by Joseph. Foul was called. Traveling. Traveling was called there on the player from St. And in the second area, another turnover by Collier. Another block shot there by Emery. The player thinking that he was Aliu pass. Bang! And another two-hand dunk by Joe Emery with a beautiful Aliu pass. And a two-hand jump by Jay Emery. Keeping, the, keeping his team in it. Transition by the scores on the attack. And the chant of defense being, being shouted by the fans, by the supporters of the St. Andrews Anakin Secondary. So each team getting a chance to play at home. PBC first coming, traveling to St. Andrews to play the St. Andrews Secondary. And then the next game will be played on Wednesday in the Carolina Sport. Now he's on the second with the ball, attacking the boys. Good defense there. Uh, Joseph sliding and cutting the play off. Beautiful head fake there. By uh, the petite guy, he get, gathers his ball. Always seems to have a smile on his face. He takes a shot. A beautiful jump shot there with all the confidence in the world. He's really that jumper. Leading Sassin. And that was the end of the third quarter. We resume the 
as we now go to the final quarter of this encounter between St. Andrew Janikin Secondary School and Prentice Brothers College. The score at the end of the third quarter is 68 to 51. 68 to 51 in favor of the St. Andrew Janikin Secondary School and Prentice Brothers College applying pressure to the ball. Trying to steal the ball. Pass made to Emery. Attempted block shot, the ball taken by Mullen, and Mullen makes an overhand pass down the court. Ball was stolen by Collier, and he takes the ball to the basket, head first, and converts easy layup of the backboard. Javelin violation. PBC no traveling violation, easy call for the official. The player seeing the pass, and then the lane was closed up by the SAS defense. And uh, traveling violation call there by Mr. Alex Kuhn. Call here with the ball, dribbling, on top and all the confidence. Pass made to Emmy, baseline, and he attempted left hand jam, but fall was called on M. Francis for Prentice and Brothers College. Hitting, hitting J. Emery on the hand, and uh, J. Emery goes to the free throw line to convert or to attempt to three shots. First shot goes up. And this is Some of the spectators heckling J. Emery and telling him he has a resemblance to Shaq, unable to make his features. Being able to get the fall and Cotton taking the ball, taking up, attempting to pass the ball to J. Taylor, but unable to do so. And Taylor trying to save the ball, getting it over the backboard, and the ball goes out of play. And St. Andrews and again, second, you know, has the ball baseline. Long pass, we don't almost to the half court region. Seven drive the ball hard, but unable to keep the ball in his hand, throwing the ball outside. The ball is now turned over, and Presentation Brothers College making the sub, taking Marlon Francis out of the game, and Stevenson bringing in Granger and Street. Curtain with a Good looking jumper, but unable to convert it. And that player has no fear. Not afraid to take the players on. And BK Mitchell. Not afraid to take the guys on teams from Prentice and Brothers College. Going to the basket. Converted. Stolen, of course. Stolen by Collier. Ah, beautiful block shot there by number one. After turning the ball over, seem to be seem to possess some sort of extra energy and blocking the ball and throwing it outside. Pass taken by Sid Ball, it bounces inside to Emery. Strong enough being able to get gather the ball, go up and convert. And he was fouled by Granger. And Emery now has one shot to make sure that his team does not lose the first game and give up his home court advantage. Emery back on the free throw line, attempt one free shot, he goes up and he converts on this one. Prentice and Brothers College will take the ball out of bounds. Sweet pass on the ball. Pass the ball, a lot pass, rebound taken by Emery. Em Emery and he's dribbling now with the left hand down the court. Beautiful pass inside to Collier and Collier goes up and converts. Another two points. Sweet to drive to the basket. An underhand pass, a block of the head, of the head of the player, and the ball goes out of bounds. And J. Emery is not accepting anything in that basket. Saying no no to everything else. 